get response landing page tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create your own landing page using get response so let's get into it now the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to getresponse.com and over here you're just going to click on the sign up for free on the top right over here so we're just going to click on that and now after that you're just going to enter your name i'm just going to enter jane doe and then you're going to enter your email email address as well so i'm just going to enter my email address and then i'm going to enter a password for the account and then i'm just going to click on create account over here and now this will lead you to the get response home page where you can get started with your get response journeys i'm just going to open up my gmail address and verify my email account so that's like the first step you have to do before you can get started with setting up your actual get response account so we're just going to activate our account over here you're going to find it in your inbox once you verify this onto your Gmail address, you're going to now enter your personal details. So uh, I'm just going to do this and I'll just add all of these details as well. And then you can just enter just the basic details and click on save and continue. I'll do this and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you do that, uh, you're going to click on these options. Now they're going to ask you to set up your account. You can skip this for now or you can choose to just set up by answering these couple of questions i'm going to continue with no not yet if you have any contacts or do you have a website so no not yet and now i'm going to click on take me to dashboard which will lead you to your get response dashboard now you can see this is your basic a dashboard and i'm just going to show you guys like this is the bet dashboard and on your top left you have different tools as well so once you click on tools a drop down menu will appear where you can see different features and automations and different uh, tools uh, that the get response app enables you to try now what we're going to be focusing on is building a landing page or a website for any kind of purpose using get response so now what we're going to do is we are going to click on tools over here on our top left and then we're going to click on landing pages over here and now after that you're just going to click on create landing pages and now there are two different routes that you can go down with uh, you can click on build from scratch and then start from scratch as well or you can take a look at the different templates available to you from get response now uh, you can see on your left over here you have a categorization of these templates as well so some are promotion templates download templates sales templates so you have quite a few uh, different varieties available for you to choose from and we're just going to click on all templates over here and you can just browse these templates to get started now let's say i want to check out the baker's bakery template so i can just click on select template and this will open this up and then i can also see the thank you page so whatever this template entails i can see now let's say we are going to create uh, a landing page for maybe your online business or like any kind of business landing page so i want to take a look at this active gym template and then they have a thank you page so i'm going to click on enter your landing page name over here and I'm going to add Jane's gym as the landing page name. So maybe I want to like create a landing page for my own gym. And then I'm just going to click on next step over here. So now you can see over here that our landing page template has been downloaded. This is variant A. You can see on your top left, you have different tabs. So after that, you can also create variant Bs and then create, you know, a simultaneous comparison between the two templates. So now both of these are replicated. And if I change one of this, so if I delete this from over here and if I just click on this, move this like so. And if I go on to variant A, it still has the original uh, logo placed. So uh, in this way, you can also choose to make different changes and check out whether or not you like those changes in comparison, or you can just work on one variant and then just continue on with there and then just move on as you go or undo any of the changes that you don't like. Now to get started with our customization of this template, first off, I'm going to delete this logo and you can see uh, on your landing page builder on your right side, you have your website building or page building tools. So from here, what you're going to do is you you can add different tools you can drag and drop any kind of function over here so if you want to sell products then you can enter these kind of sections if you have anything else like basic text so i'm just going to place some basic text add james 
So I've added Jane's, Jane's bodybuilding gym as the text over here and I will place it like so. And now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this text. I'm going to change the look of the text. So I'm going to make it in a different font and then I'm going to change the color of the text as well. I want it to be like a complementing color and then you can also give it like a background color as well. So I'm going to go with a gray kind of color like this. And now I'm just going to add this over here. Now below that, you also have other things that you can add on to your landing page like buttons. So if you have like a landing page for affiliate marketing and you're promoting an affiliate product, you can add your affiliate links over here and buttons as well. Uh, for that purpose, it's very useful. Now after that, you have your forms. So you can click on pop-up forms or static forms and you can create these forms to collect information or to collect more leads. So let's say we want to create a pop-up form and and this is going to be a sign up pop up form. And now you can see this is what the sign up pop up form is going to look like. They're giving me a template. So I'm going to change the color scheme to a more neon shade of green. I'm going to click on over here. And then I'm going to click on the background as black. And then I'm going to enter these basic fields. So name and email address. These are the two basic things I want to collect in my pop up form. And then you can click on choose another form to choose if you want another kind of form. I'm going to continue with the sign up form. I think sign up forms are usually some of the best ways to collect information. So I'm just going to continue with that and I'm just going to click on save over here. This is what my form is going to be looking like. This is just a preview and maybe I want like a one second delay and I want it to have repeat after one day. Or maybe every time and then you can also add constant fields so you can add more fields onto your forms as well and i'm just going to click on save because landing pages are often used to collect data and information now after that you also have the shapes that you can add to further design your landing page you also have social media links that you can place so you can just drag and drop these links on over here and link your social media pages now after that all you have to do is you can see on your top center you can uh, preview the mobile version as well and then you can also click on preview just to preview your overall landing page and then you're just going to click on save and now once this has been saved you're just going to click on next page over here and then you're going to take a look at this so we're going to click on proceed without mobile versions and now after that you're going to select your seo settings all of this stuff it's just basic analytics you can choose which email you want to link and all that and now we're just going to click on publish over here you don't even need to customize those now after that once you do that our landing page is ready and live so you can see this is what my landing page is currently looking like it's a simple logo and now you see my pop-up form has appeared on screen the one that i created and you can obviously customize the page according to your own personal needs now that is how simple and easy it is to create your own landing page using get response but if we take a look at the pricing of get response on the free version you will only be able to create one landing page Page and one website so that is something you need to keep into consideration if you want to create multiple landing pages then you will have to opt for their premium versions starting at $15.58 per month where you can create unlimited landing pages so that is something that is a useful feature if you are looking to create multiple landing pages using get response so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below and check out our other videos for more content like this and how to build landing pages using other platforms as well and i will catch you guys in the next video